OpenAI recently released a new feature which is called Canvas and allows the users to work with the text or even code within ChatGPT easier and definitely much more effective. But this is only the beginning, because with the new update we've got the access to the pretty new ChatGPT interface, a lot of additional options and actually much much more. So by the end of this video we will know everything about the ChatGPT canvas and how to use it to its fullest potential. Um, so yeah, this is very powerful, therefore stay to the end. So OpenAI is introducing Canvas, and this is the new way of working with ChatGPT to write and code. So actually let me now show you the most important information that actually OpenAI has to say. First things first, this is the pretty new interface. So at the left side you can notice we've got something which is a kind of the sidebar, and in the middle slash right side um, we've got actually the space where our content will appear. So here we'll have a kind of the summarizing of what we created, some basic information, and here we'll actually go over and work with our text. And OpenAI says that the canvas is a new interface for working with ChatGPT on writing coding that go beyond simple chat. So we've got the different options. So canvas opens a separate window allowing you and ChatGPT to collaborate on a project. So actually we'll be able to edit some text. So actually we didn't have this option before. I will be able to refine the text, actually improve it, only change the specific parts and so on. So again, in this video, I will show you everything step by step. With Canvas, ChatGPT can better understand the context of what you are trying to accomplish. You can highlight specific sections to indicate exactly what you want ChatGPT to focus on. Like copy editor or code reviewer, it can give inline feedback and suggestions with the entire project in mind. So yeah, as I said, we've got a pretty bunch of new options. So for instance, you can directly edit text or code. There is a menu of shortcuts for you to ask ChatGPT to adjust writing length, debug your code and quickly perform other useful actions. And um, here also we've got some shortcuts. So ChatGPT can suggest edits. It offers inline suggestions and feedback, adjust the length, change the reading level, which is amazing, add the final poly, so check grammar, clarity and consistency, or even add emojis as we want. And here we've got a kind of fast overview, so there we can type the prompt, and there we've got the sidebar, and the main window where we can just work with our content. So even we can ask ChatGBT to do something with our text. For this case, we've got a code, it is refining our code, improving it, and doing everything we want. Also, you can see we can type within our response, which is amazing. And lastly, there we've got some options to choose in order to provide better results. So with all that being said, let's actually start with, and let me show you everything from start to finish. So firstly, how to trigger the ChatGPT with the canvas. So we need to go over to the left top corner and click on the models. And there we have a kind of the new model, which is ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas. We can click on that and right there we can use it right away. So we can type the following prompt. For example, um, let's start with the text. Provide for me an article about 10 the most popular pets. So we can run this prompt and see what will happen. So it opens for us this window and we've got this sidebar where we have the actual conversation. However, here we've got again our main content. So yeah, this is much more different than usual. And in the right bottom corner, we've got this icon with five different options. So firstly, what we can do, we can ask ChatGPT to suggest for us the edits. So it will actually think about its own response and tell us, the space where we can adjust the edits again. So here you can see, you might want to mention a specific bird species and unique trait they have. Adding an example of a popular rabbit breed could help readers picture the variety available and better understand their characteristics. And here even we've got the highlighted text. So the text exactly that is linked to the improvement that we can apply. And here we can go overhead even and apply the changes. So now look at that. Um, it will take this text and provide another pretty new, we've just improved version, which is extremely amazing. Another option is to adjust the length of the text. 
So we've got this kind of the slider, so we can decide if we would like to have the longest text and barely longer, or even we would like to keep current length. For this case, I would like to have um, just barely shorter text. I can click on that and just trigger ChatGPT to do the action. So there, just pay attention. Um, it is very fast. I really like this one transition and meanwhile creating our content. So yeah, this is very definitely unpleasant to watch. Another one case is to adjust the reading level, which is very helpful because yeah, sometimes you would like to, for example, adjust the reading level for people that are not a native in English, for example. It can be very helpful in that case because here we've got the kindergarten, a middle school or even graduate school um, so we can decide by ourselves. The next option is to add final polish. So when we click on that, ChatGPT um, will like refine this exact text. So yeah, just look at that. We've got even the heading of the text, which is very helpful. Um, we have everything polished to the perfection. And the last one option is to add the emojis. So even we've got this kind of option, which can be helpful, yeah, because sometimes you would like to add the emojis which are relevant to the specific parts of the text. In the right top corner, we've got some useful options. So the first one is to actually undo the action. So show the previous version of our text. So we can, for instance, click there and restore this version as we wish. For example, I would like to go over with this one. Yeah, restore it. And here even I can copy my content. Sometimes when you will point on the content, you can see this icon. So here we can choose the specific paragraph. And right there, we've got this window. So you can, for example, edit or even explain this part. So I can type something like, um, I would like to make it barely longer. So definitely, we can just change this paragraph as we wish. So overall now, it's making it barely longer. Yeah, we've got it. Even we can go overhead and ask to explain it. So please explain for me what this paragraph is about. So yeah, we can do the stuff, ask ChatGPT. Um, it is especially helpful when it comes to the coding. So we have some code. We can highlight the specific row in the code or the rows and ask for the explanation of it. And which is again, very helpful. Also, what is very interesting. Anywhere I click in my content, I can go ahead and edit some parts by myself. So for this case, I can go here, remove this part. So do the stuff by this way. Even I can add, so I can write. The dogs are very playful creatures. So we can do this stuff. Um, and we haven't had this situation before when it comes um, to the chat GBT. Nevertheless, right now with the canvas editor, we've got more impact, I feel like, of what we are creating exactly, which is, again, for me, especially very great. When we highlight some specific part of the text, we can see we've got different options. So here, for instance, we can ask ChatGPT again, as we did this with the specific paragraph, to edit or explain this part. Or even, what is very great, we can edit our text, so format it. I can bold it, I can italicize it, or even change it. Um, let me show you on this part. So yeah, I can change it to the heading, or even I can do other stuff. So provide it as the body. So here we've got this opportunity, which is very great, because we don't need to go over to any outside applications to just format our text. As I said at the beginning of the video, we can also use Canvas um, to code some stuff more efficiently and actually easier. So here I can provide the simple prompt. Give me code for a snake game. So this prompt is very simple, very plain. Nevertheless, um, we'll see if that will work. So right now I really like it. It's creating for us the entire code. Actually, we've got above 100 lines right there. It created for us the code. We can go over here and actually copy it. 
and try it for the first time without any edits, any improvements and so on. So I can go ahead, paste the content and for the first time run it and see if that will work. So let's see, we've got the window and yeah, it works. Yeah, so definitely I think it is perfect. We can go over and play um, right there. Even let's see if I will crash. Yeah, so we've got game over, press Q um, to quit or C to play again. Let's go over with the C so we can play again. Perfect. And now let's see if um, Q works. So definitely we can quit our game, which is perfect. And remember, it was the first try. Um, so I provided only a few words in my prompt. Uh, which were only created for me a simple snake game, which is actually very impressive for that case. Because remember that we can do a lot of different stuff for this case. The game works, however, please provide bigger window, um, improve um, the look of it, and overall um, user experience, let's say. So by this way, even we can do this stuff. So it is actually the second prompt um, that will send out to the chat GBT and with the canvas. So I think this tool is very useful for the persons that are not very familiar with the coding as I am. So for this case, even I can do this stuff and now let's see how it will work. So again, let's um, paste the code, let's run it and see, yeah, so we've got the bigger window, we've got the score, and actually, yeah, that's perfect. Let's see if it crashes. So we've got game over, press Q, quit, or C, play again. So everything I wanted was applied in my code. Nevertheless, right now, let's go over to the right bottom corner, because, surprise, surprise, there we've got five different new options. So let's go over with the first one, which is code review. When we click on that, ChatGPT will automatically review our code. So actually it works pretty similar as with the text. It highlighted for us the parts that could be improved. For instance, there consider extracting the foot positioning logic into a separate function to avoid code duplication and improve readability. So even we can apply the change. So it is again pretty the same as we had with the text. However, now for the code, which is very nice. It should change this part. Yeah, so we've got it. The next option is to port to a language. So we can change the language of the text because actually this is written in the Python. So we can go over ahead and for example, change it to the C++ or even Java as we wish. So we can go ahead here, click on port the language and there we've got different languages to which we can go ahead and change this code. Another case is fix bugs. So whenever we have any problem with our text, we can go over ahead here and click on this option and it will actually solve for us the problem. Then we've got add logs. So it adds a lot of print lines throughout our code and to actually help us to track any changes. So it records all activities like deletions and what was added, actually what was changed and so on. So with this, you can review better um, actually your entire code. And the last one option is to add comments. So it is very helpful. It will apply for us the comments in this code to help us better understand it and actually refine what was done step by step. So by this way, we can do this stuff very easily. So again, even when it comes to the smaller parts, we've got um, the comments. So exactly what it does. So that we have it. This was everything for this video. I think Canvas with the ChatGPT is an amazing feature added by the OpenAI. It helps a lot with the text, with the code, and a lot of different things that we do inside of the ChatGPT. So I hope that you liked it. It was helpful for you. And I will see you next time.